We are back with a Fox News alert. President Trump scoring a huge win for American workers, reaching a trade deal with our North American neighbors. The president tweeting moments ago, congratulations to Mexico and Canada. Uh, yep, is expected to be signed by all three nations before December 1st, and then the tough part of ratifying it. But if it does improve it, it's hard to imagine this being a political play. But who knows? you're funny. <laughs> Joining us now, the wife from the White House, the Office of Trade and Manufacturing Policy Advisor himself, Peter Navarro. Uh, Peter, how did how what could you tell us about the deal that was reached last night? Well, it's the biggest deal in history, no hyperbole. Uh, $1.2 trillion in trade. Uh, great day for America, great day for North America. And Brian, my, uh, my favorite part of the deal is the fact it's going to turn uh, this hemisphere back into a, a manufacturing powerhouse. We're going to be able to reclaim our supply chain, particularly in the auto industry. Uh, so it's a, it's a good day. Peter, give us an example. Like, what does this mean for the average family that doesn't necessarily understand how trade works? So uh, if you're an auto worker, uh, you're going to have uh, better prospects for jobs and your wages are going to go up faster. Uh, if you're a chicken farmer, or an, uh, you'll be better off. Uh, if you're a high-tech uh, biotechnology firm, uh, you're working there, your uh, patents are going to be better protected under this. Uh, Wall Street's going to be better off with their financial services. Uh, it's really an extraordinary deal because it's a case where uh, this president, President Donald J. Trump, has been able uh, to make a deal where everybody's better off in this, Mexico, Canada, and the U.S., uh, takes vision and courage to do this. Uh, it's a promise made, promise kept. I mean, everybody criticized this president uh, for trying to undo NAFTA, which was the worst trade deal we have ever had. But today, uh, it looks like it's done. Yeah. Uh, Peter, what is your message to the critics uh, of the president who, when he was talking about we got to get rid of th this trade deal and that trade deal, they go, he's going to screw up everything. And now yeah. it looks as if uh, better deals were possible. Uh, two, me two messages, Steve. Uh, one is that quietly President Donald J. Trump is putting together a record on the economy and trade, which is better than any president in modern history. I say quietly because the media has largely ignored it. And to his critics uh, on Capitol Hill and in the media, every time you criticize this president for being too tough, you undermine uh, this ability of this administration to negotiate tough on behalf of the American people. The president has ignored that criticism to his credit. He stood tall. And, and look, Steve, we, get, we got NAFTA done. NAFTA's dead, new agreement uh, today, but last week we also signed that South Korean deal. Uh, we were able to enter into new negotiations uh, with Japan. And I got to tip, tip my hat here to Ambassador Robert Lighthizer and Jared Kushner, who worked together as a team to bring this to the finish line because it went right up to that uh, 11th hour. Yeah, that was. Okay. It allows the outgoing president of Mexico, Nieto, to sign this deal before he leaves office at the end of November. Will the next president who takes his place, is there any chance that he could undo all of this? Uh, no, uh, the uh, president of uh, in, incoming president of Mexico and President Trump have very cordial relationships. They've talked about this. Uh, it's it's all set. Uh, the way this is going to go is uh, it should be signed on the 30th of November and then has to be ratified. Right. But here's the deal: from an economic point of view, you're already going to begin to feel the effects because investment particularly in the auto industry, is going to shift back here to North America. That's going to mean more growth, higher wages, all good. Right. And lastly, Peter, why not lose the aluminum and steel tariffs? Because wasn't that used as a wedge to get everybody to the table? You got them to the table. You got a deal. Why not push them away from Mexico and Canada? Uh, separate issue, apples and oranges, Brian. It was never used as a bargaining chip. Uh, it's, it's just apples and oranges. Steel and aluminum tariffs have been a tremendous boon to those two industries. They're two key pillar industries we need for our economic and national security. As President Trump has said, economic security is national security. So let's focus today on uh, the, the NAFTA. Uh, NAFTA is dead. We have USMCA. Let's, uh, let's see if you can s pronounce that. <laughs> uh, and it's a big day for you, too, because you went to bat for this when it wasn't that popular inside the administration. So congratulations yes, to you, Peter. Thank you, All Peter. Right. USMCA, United States, Mexico, and Canada. Thank, Thank you, you Congratulations. All right.